hey guys so as you can tell from the title you guys know where i'm on my way to and i am so nervous um like this is literally my very first brazilian wax ever i don't know if i should be embarrassed or not for saying that but i'm not right now, now. i'm always either shaving or using nair down there so um, I don't know. I just never got a wax before. I've always just been so scared. But I went on here and made my appointment um, like maybe like a week or so ago. And of course, I had to pay, you know, my deposit and everything. So, girl, it's like it's no backing out. And I thought I was ready. But it's like now that the day and the time has gotten here, like, oh, my God, I'm so, so, so nervous. But we on the way to go and do this. Um, I found this girl actually on Instagram. I went on here and decided to go ahead and book with her. It's black owned business. So, you know, that's always a plus. I like to support, you know, um, my black owned businesses. Hopefully, um, she don't have a problem with me, you know, um, recording in there. Which I don't think she should. Um, I'm not going to like record her or actually record my kitty cat or anything for you guys. If not, I'll just... Um, you know come back of course and let you guys know how my experience and everything went i will see you guys once i get there who pray for me because i am a virgin about to get this kitty broken in so this is what the building looks like when you close the door and this is what the hallway looks like when you close the into trying to have a snatch kitty for my birthday uh, i hope i don't regret this i'm regretting it right now though you ready for me okay that was pretty so this is my first time I'm ever doing this yes time? this is my first time ever doing this so I'm scared. <laughs> okay. Scared, y'all. Scared. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to step out. Let you get comfortable. Okay. I'm going to have you hop on that on the table lay with your head this way mm -hmm. um, on top of the paper this is just a small top for you to cover with until I get back okay. if you want as well as some um, feminine ones okay, okay. Right. cool alright All right, y'all let, let me get undressed real quick but it's real pretty in here I will show y'all what it look like well, this is what it looks like in the room it's the little bed pillow she has a little washcloth for you to cover your hoo ha with once you undress. Feminine whites for you to wipe with. Of course, the wax station. This cute little situation on the wall. Her license. This up here. It's just real cute. Real cute. Step stool for you to get up on the bed. And all of her other sanitary things over there. Did you try it for the vlog? Like, no, I just, I'm tired. You know, I've been shaving mm -hmm. and then I start doing the nib, but like, I'm starting to notice like discolorations mm -hmm. and I don't like that. So, Have you oh, like a butterfly. Perfect. Okay. 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 So how painful is it? Um, like for me, I don't have a high pain tolerance. Like I don't like I don't oh. have any tattoos. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna have no kids. Okay. <laughs> you know, I really don't have a high pain tolerance. So for me, one to ten is like a four or five. Oh really? Yeah, it's not like it's annoying. Okay. It's more of an annoying like I'm like stop, girl, stop. You know, okay. Like that. Okay. Like, you know, okay. But not like I'm like, Okay, ah, and know, see, I do kind of have a a high yeah, pain yeah, tolerance. Yeah, I tell people if you got tattoos and kids. You, okay, you know, okay, okay. You could definitely do it. You don't have like a crazy amount of 
No, because I waited. Um, I think the last time I, it was like been like at least like three or four weeks. Yeah. So yeah. And so, how often should you come back and like get it redone? So you want to do it every four weeks. Every four weeks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, like, some places will tell you you can do six, which you can do six. It's just better for long-term results to do four. Um, the hair isn't moving yet, so you can keep, you know, pulling it from the follicle before the hair can even re-root itself. Okay. Eventually, the follicle will go dormant. Okay. I'm using a chocolate wax for these articles. It's a chocolate wax? Yeah. Oh. What is that? Okay. So, I was like, are you baking cakes over there? <laughs> Oh, that wasn't too bad. Like I said, more of an annoying one. Okay. Like a rubber band pop. Okay. So is this more so like an easier area? Um. Yeah, this is oh, the easier area. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, that was a little bit more. Hands about to start getting uh, clammy. Start, start sweating. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Now, the more you get it done, so do the hair like. Do it, yeah, the it, hair comes back lighter. So you'll okay. know the difference just from one wax. Oh, wow. The hair okay. going back, you'll be like. And it's going to feel like, I mean, if you are trying to, like, get on the regimen and stay on it, it's going to feel like, I don't even need to come back yet. You still still do it. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. At that four weeks. That's just, like, again, better for long-term results and for pain. The hair will be super soft at the time to come out the pores very easily. Come okay. Out the follicles very um, easily. It was quick, Stingy. but yeah, it was it was it was quick, but that little I want want to experience it again, so I'll make sure this thing don't close. If it closes, I would never do it again. I said I have a, a high pain tolerance. Yeah, yeah. It's not as bad as you were thinking. No, right? I was more in my head than anything. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that lip part though, baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, and my hands are so sweaty. <laughs> So how long have you been doing it? I'm six years now. Okay. Oh, you've been doing it for a while. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's shaving, like, shoot, every couple of days, and mm-hmm. now that stuff is annoying. Ooh, that's why I said. People be like, I can't deal with that pain. I'm like, it's not, the, it's not the fact that, oh, yeah, it's, it's so easy to do that keep you coming back. It's the results. Like, right, okay. And then after a while, like I said, it does get better, though, but it's like, your first one, how you feel? Like, I don't know. I might yeah. not. But then, so like today, you might be like, no, I don't know if I'm gonna if I'm gonna keep doing it, but I did it. Then like two weeks from now, you can like, oh no, I'm definitely going to get it going back. back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, I'm definitely not. That was crazy. Oh yeah, no, it's not that bad at all. Like I said, I think, I think once you have kids, it's like nothing. Uh, but one of my clients, she's dramatic. She's like, no, this might be worse than my kid. I was like, okay. I mean, and you know, it's so crazy because I I was watching like, um, like videos and stuff all last week and I saw some chick, it was like, it's a burst in labor pains. I was like, okay, you know, but let me start watching this. I said, because I can't now. It's no way. way. Yeah. I sound like it's no way. You can't convince me. It's worse than labor pain. Mm. Okay. Yeah, just go ahead and do it. And I got all the stuff. I got everything. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to have you. I was trying to think of somewhere I could set you up. I made it, y'all. I made it. It was not that bad. I had to let y'all go for a minute to get the booty uh, <laughs> strip done. I forgot all about it's that part, though. Me, okay. It's okay. Just aloe okay. So, it's like, as far as, as like, uh, aftercare instructions yes. and so, care. So, aftercare, you can resume all your activities as normal. Um, I will wait 24 hours for sex. You don't have to. That's just my personal opinion and preference. You may feel a little, like, tingly. Okay. Down there, so you may not want to, but you might feel perfectly fine. I'd be like, girl, I'm trying to go. But that you, you can presume all your normal activities. Um, major after key alert. Uh, you have to exfoliate. Exfoliate? So, yes. So, 48 hours from today, you want to start exfoliating twice a week. 
up until your next wax or up until you shave or whatever. Even when you're shaving, you should be exfoliating. Um, as far as what you can use for an exfoliant, you can make an exfoliant, a sugar scrub, you know, so you can do it yourself. Uh, Whole Foods has a whole scrub section. You can go buy one of their scrubs. Um, you want to do something out. I, I recommend going to Whole Foods because it's so close to, you know. Your right, body. it's natural. So, yeah, mm -hmm. you, something that's natural. Um, and Whole Foods, of course, has the Whole Foods stamp of approval. Um, another one is a product I like to use called PFB, and I'll text that to you if you want to get that, but you have to purchase that off of Amazon. Okay. It takes two days to get here, so it'll literally be here just in time for you to use it. It's a roll-on. Um, it has salicylic and glycolic acid in it. I like that one. Some people don't like that one because it causes you to peel. Um, you can get one of those gloves, you know. Right, that's what it, uh-huh. You just need to be doing something because that hair is going to be trying to come back, but it's going to be so much softer now. It's going to be hard for it to push through. Your skin and yeah. is gonna, okay, you know, so you won't get ingrown. So, so that's what that's what. Okay, okay, skin, okay. You know, okay. So you're not getting those ingrown, okay? Okay. That is it. Cool. Ooh, I made it. All right, so I'm going to step out, let you get comfortable. And okay. Dress. And I'm going to um, put your, I mean, put your stuff in my description yes. box. Yes, I sure Watch will. Your, I made it. I made it. Oh, my God, y'all. It was not bad at all. Okay. Hold on. Let me get dressed real quick. I want y'all see in my hoo-ha. I'm done with my wax, and it look bomb as hell, y'all. I won't even lie. I don't know why I've been torturing myself with shaving all this damn time because it really was not that bad at all. Well... Not for me anyway. I pretty much have a high tolerance for pains. I will say the worst part was um, the lip area. The lip area burnt like hell. I won't lie, but it's like a quick, it's like a sting. I won't even say a burn. It's like a sting. But yeah, other than that, it wasn't bad at all. Watch my reaction. You see, I handled it like a champ. It, I wasn't screaming, yelling out. I never knew this was a service that I needed in my life. And when I tell you, my technician was everything. She was so bomb. She was a sweetheart. Um, her name is Nisha. And the name of her um, company is called the Sleek and Snatch Company. Um, I'm, of course, going to leave her information in the description box below. I will be back out here to see her in four weeks. She was really good. She explained everything to me. She was very gentle. She was very friendly. Like, and, I, and it just made my very first time feel overall, you know, amazing. You have to feel comfortable with somebody um, in a situation like that, especially when you just got your vagina all out and your, your legs are just spread eagle up in the butterfly child. So, yeah, you have to be comfortable with with someone being down there and she really made me feel comfortable she was gentle so i highly highly recommend her if you're in the dmv area i even got my little butt strip wax so i had to um, put the camera down for that because i had to like basically hold both of my knees up to my chest for that so i needed both hands my vagina doesn't even hurt at all it doesn't tingle it doesn't have any pain i feel like i can go home and get it in right now but i'm not so once again my esthetician's name was Nisha, and the name of her company is called The Sleek and Snatch Co., and it's in um, here in Maryland. So if you're in the DMV area and you're interested, I highly recommend you to check her out, and I will leave her information in the description box Hope below. you guys liked today's video, and if so, please give me a like. Also, leave me a comment below, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a part of the family. I would love to have you, and make sure you hit that post notification bell so you'll be notified the next time i upload until next time dolls please stay cool out here in this heat and hydrated